Hi Gemini, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your May general reading, again for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Thank you for your patience on me getting this reading to you, as I did have to move again, but it's all good. I'm in a safe space, so um, thank you all for your support and patience. Gemini, right after this reading, as we always do, we'll be tapping in and doing your love of reading where we check in on the other person that you're dealing with how do they feel about you how do you feel about them um, what is that person's true intentions and most importantly what's the next step here for y'all's romance special connection or relationship all right so that one's in the um, description box to look below it's the first link there um, and let's just get right into it all right I hope y'all are doing well and sending out lots of love. Jen, I thank you always for your support, your likes, shares, subscribes, donations. I am super grateful. All right, Spirit, what is the best and highest message at this time for Gemini? These messages are for May. And keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? We've got three more, and then we'll be there. Gemini. All right, there we go. All right, we've got the tower in reverse, Gemini. So as your theme for this reading, I feel like for a lot of you, you're picking up the pieces from something that felt devastating to you. The, <laughs> the tower is a very... Um, intense and can be devastating in a way um, type of energy where something you thought you were building um, in a job, in a connection, in a romance, um, something that you were building for yourself, whatever that means to you. Um, something came crumbling down and you're now picking up the pieces, healing and maybe understanding um, you know, in a higher perspective, what was the lesson? Why did I have to go through that kind of experience? So let's get deeper into it and see what your current situation is. Page of Cups. Yep, Page of Cups. Some of you um, could have a younger water sign around you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you're open to love. I feel like you're very um, flirtatious, feeling good, maybe offering your cup um, in love or at least in a social way with friends and whatnot. Seven of Pentacles behind that. Um, kind of waiting for something to happen here. What's crossing this energy for Gemini? What's helping or hindering this energy? The two of pentacles, mm -hmm. earth energy. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign or waiting on an earth sign. Yeah, um, there could be a stalemate situation with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But you do have a lot on your plate with the two of pentacles. This is a lot of juggling energy, oh, family, relationship, what about me? Um, the duality, right? You're Gemini. You're in two minds all the time. Um, I hate that y'all get such a bad rap for being two-faced. I'm like, at least Gemini looks at do two different perspectives, at least. They look at the light and the dark. Should I or shouldn't I? Da -da -da -da. You know, you look at what's good for me, what's good for them. I People just get it wrong, I think. But, you know, you do have a lot going on. There's something that you're juggling, maybe within regards to putting your love out there to someone. How much should I give them? How much should I reserve? Should I be doing this? Should I not? It's that back and forth. And with the Two of Swords, this is not only um, something in your reality already that you're dealing with, but it's also something on your mind. All right? Let's see what the focus is here in the situation. What's the focus here for Gemini? First one that came out is the Knight of Cups in reverse, proposals, offering. The next step from the page is the Knight, okay? So this is about love, romance, or or, or um, your creativity. If this is about work for you, should I keep being creative? Should I keep putting my my energy out there and right now it's just saying maybe not no just hold on 
just hold on. Um, also with this, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. You at least are coming out of a confusion. Ah, why? Because the Tower is back here and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So there is a maybe lessening of communication between you and someone, you and a situation. I think you're holding back and kind of reserving your energy, your emotions, and what you're putting out there in regards to this person or situation that you're dealing with. Because again, uh, Tower in, your, in reverse, you're healing and picking up the pieces from something that was... Ugh, kind of crumbled, something that you were like, oh my goodness, what is this? And you had to get through it, right? So go you. And with the Seven of Cups in reverse, you know, you're understanding that not all that glitters is gold. Not all that glitters is gold. Sometimes people have good intentions, but they can't um, keep their promise, whatever that means to you. And I think that you really realized that, and maybe that's on you too. Like maybe you um, maybe it, it can be flipped and maybe you thought with the two of pentacles, hey, I can do this and this and I can, I can promise this to that person and I can be here for me and I can do my work and I'm here for my family. Like you just kind of felt like you had to do it all or you were juggling doing it all. And in reality, it's not that you can't do it all. What's most important is you taking care of you, right? So I feel like you had to prioritize, okay, what am I really doing? Where is this really going, right? And then taking a step going forward. All right, what's been going on in the recent past for Gemini? Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, definitely releasing any kind of manipulation, lying, deceit um, within yourself. You maybe not being truthful about what it is that you want. Um, and I'm hearing talking truths, like being, being very honest with yourself and you're coming into that. I feel like maybe for some of you, if this is about a person or a job or whatever your situation, um, it was more like you were in, in love with the idea of the person instead of the person or the idea of that job and the company and the money instead of what it really was. Again, Seven of Cups tying into that too. Full card, taking a leap of faith. You've definitely shifted your energy here. So go you. What's the crowning energy here for Gemini? What's the crowning energy? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Two of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're choosing a new direction. You Two of Wands in the upright to me. Yeah, and judgment. This is a big judgment call. And Three of Wands in reverse. I feel like the delays are coming to an end because you've kind of woken up and, and smelt the coffee kind of thing. Like you had a truth or you had a revelation. And you're like, oh, I do need to change paths. I do need to alter what's going on here a little bit, right? It's kind of editing your life in a way is what I feel. Because um, Two of Wands in the upright is I see... You know, you're at a doorway, you're at a gateway of, I'm still where I'm at, but I know I need to take a step forward. When I get this card in reverse, you're at least taking that first step. So go you. And with the judgment, you know, the, in the upright, this is a positive um, judgment. This is a judgment call for you. This is a positive move, move forward because you're looking after what your best intentions are. I love it. I love it. All right, let's look at future energy here. Future energy here for Gemini, please. Okay, we have kind of a lot, but I'm going to take them. Seven of Wands came out first. You're standing your ground. There could be people, opinions around you. Hey, you should be doing this, Gemini. What about this thought? Did you think about this? And you're like, uh, I'm Gemini. I already thought about all those things. I'm standing my ground. Don't don't try to convince me. I know what's best for me, and you do. You always know what's best for you, especially when you're really tapped into your intuition. Okay, yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Something, you are putting something, um, maybe not to a full end, but on a pause on some type of, there's just no forward movement at this time with something. Four of Swords, you're healing yourself, okay? I see the Three of Swords um, and then the sword down here. So I feel like you're healing from that tower moment, um, something that could have been heartbreaking or something difficult. Five of Pentacles in reverse, coming out of a, of a feeling of loneliness. Could also have been some financial worries and that's in reverse, so you're releasing that. Very, very good. And with the Emperor card, you got this. Aries energy, you're in control. You, and not in a bossy negative way, that would be like this, woo! Um, but in the upright, this is like, look how cool, calm, and collected he is, whether male or female here watching. You know, you're just very like, 
I know exactly what to do. I'm not worried. I'm calling the shots. I'm in control of my life and this entire situation. Queen of Swords with that too. That's you, Gemini. Speak in your truth. <laughs> All right, let's look at your power in this situation. Yes, honey, yes. Ace of Wands, you feel a passionate new beginning. There she is with yourself. This is about standing up for you, your truth, your passion, your creativity. Um, and wands are about action. You're taking action for what it is that you want. I love it. <laughs> Let's look at your environment. <clears throat> Two of swords. Some of you could be dealing uh, in your environment with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ten of pentacles. Ooh, ten of swords in reverse. Full card. So this in your environment, there is someone that feels like a stalemate situation. They feel like... Um, you know, they don't, they're a little bit confused. They don't know what to do. I think because you're being so strong and powerful and determined and you, you have clarity and you've spoken up about what it is that you want, I think you're rattling and shaking someone else's world a little bit um, in, the, in the way of like, okay, well, Jim and I made this decision. Now what do I do, right? So it's like you made a call and now they're figuring out what they need to do for them. All right, let's look at Gemini's hopes and fears. We got the Knight of Wands and then the Three of Cups in reverse. Sorry for the glare. Um, for your hopes and fears. Yeah, you don't really want with the Three of Cups in reverse, you're not really wanting a reunion at this time um, with the situation or with the person. And with the Knight of Wands, um, it is about facing your fears. So it's like you, you do have, there's that duality right there. You know, should I um, tell this person or tell this job or tell this situation hey, I'm doing me because the emperor and the knight of wands are really touching each other and very close. So that is very, it's like your, your internal fire energy is, is really telling you, hey, don't forget to stick up for yourself. And facing your fears is not having a reunion with this person. So maybe not, um, you know, whatever that means to you. You're not having any kind of reunion with this person or situation. All right, let's look at the outcome. And then if this is about love and relationships, we're gonna do that right after this, um, the love reading. What's the outcome here? Temperance. Uh, it could be dealing with the Sagittarius for you, but overall, this is really beautiful with the full card at the bottom of the deck. This is very intense and happy ending here. Um, taking a leap of faith. Um, and then with the Temperance card, you know, this is about divine timing, being patient with yourself, being patient with the process, having a lot of healing energy, nurturing your emotions. See how you have, and not, you know, you're not, you're not going too crazy into the emotions, but you are checking to see how you feel, which is very beautiful and good because you have a toe in the water, a toe and, and a whole foot on the earth. So, you know, you're very grounded and you're balancing both your practical energy, emotional energy, and, and temperance is very high vibration energy. So you are vibing very high right now. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. Thank you so much for being here. Again, the love reading is downstairs in the description box below. And I'm sending out lots of love and I will see y'all soon. Bye.